uh, having the lantern to be able to escape yeah. again all the ways that PLG are going to be able to dive right on top of you. They also just have so much peelability for the Draven. I think you're going to really be wanting that. That will show through right now. Some trades are already there. They're going to they're going to look to do it. Oh, I like it. They're going to put the ward down just as an escape plan. Here comes everything for Mako. He's going to tra sacrifice his life. First blood going over to BLG, and they might just get it fully turned around on. You cannot come up against this bot lane. And they Off will the strike nice and early. It's what you love to see when you have that Callista on the Rift. So already making sure that, that they're getting the momentum going forward. Momentum is key, especially against two of our uh, strongest pressuring teams. We did get the three grubs for top esports and the dragon slowly but surely. Oh, on. Oh, on. You're taking tower shots, bud. And that one goes through even after the hook shot. It is Mako that gets it. So no cash in for Jackie Love. So the Jackie Love and Mako, a welcomed reprieve for them to not just have to keep worrying about getting pressured under turret. Or do they? Shun sneaking in. He is. He's got a sneaky, sneaky snake. Oh, he tries to go flash. Nice move from Mako. That sentence as well. Bring his shoot back in. Now Jackie Love wants to move forward. He's got it. He's going to cash in and look at all that cha-ching. He's going to get his heart ripped out of him by Elk. But it's oh, able to lean towards mid. For TS, it's going to have to be the opposite of where you're having been. They do actually catch him out here, even with that sense. Oh, Ben, he gets a nice little heal here, as well as double knockup. They already got a lot of the CC chain there. Void Rush could be used, but it goes the other way, and that will be a dead wreck side. In the play, I don't know if he can actually contest this one just yet. Now we're going to see if they end up looking for it. I mean, already moving everyone over. Cream TP is there, and he has a Weaver's Wall. So they can very quickly equalize these numbers. Looks like they're going to wrap around. They're going to move in. So they'll deny the third here. Shin deciding uh, maybe I shouldn't stick around. So top esports move in. They will not get the mites. They will get four of the grubs, though. And don't stop. Act like that gas pedal is broken. They will take that second dragon. So they get on, on the, the map. Because you might need to pause on that point because they want to go for cream. That's a long range hook shot. He tries to go for the flash play. But can't get it. Cream is still in trouble. Seismic shove does go wide. And here comes that hex tech. And it's a bit ultimatum -y. He does end up going down on the back end. And also Tien. We're near. So yeah. Tess can keep going with this. He will spot out Tien. Elk has Fate's call. Going to burn the heal just in case. Not gonna pop it just yet. They are bringing down Cream. Weaver's wall coming in. On gonna sacrifice his life. Gets shoved into the wall, and Cream picks up the kill. And look at the opposite side of the map. Three six nine recalling at the same time. So really nice map play play by TS overall. Not allowing for a dive to happen on top side while creating wow. one in the bot lane. Now gonna be able to finish this turret up. Like they are able to hold on, but now we gotta keep rise on this fight for Harold. Three six nine doesn't call the Forge God to try and see end. He steals those he just all steals it. day long. He's a world champion for a reason. Jackie Love himself, a world champion, gets taken out. Fate's call is prepped on to Cream. On goes. They get two there for night here as well. The fighting is starting to kick up in BLG. That but no, they just sent it in there. My God, they're going for more. They are. We get the double beams up top. The tower is just falling right now. It's 369. Going to pop that Orn Horn. College Forge got going to land with the seismic shove as well. The double combo. Whirling Death not going to hit enough damage there. Cream gets taken out. Got the steal. That's all that matters. We're not going to highlight that he's missed a couple of those ones so far. Uh, PLG, they will end up taking a response in the bot side. They See if they can keep up with that. Going for the trade on top side now, but it does just give BLG sole point. And in a matchup where when one team gets ahead, they can absolutely control the map. I think giving those decision-making tools to BLG can be very scary. But top esports are feeling like their compositional strengths are going to start coming online in time to fight that one. They might try to catch out on here. They do. He's going to hook shot in the wall. Goes with the Hextech Ultimatum into the phase call. How are you so invulnerable, bro? Elk gets his shield popped there. Jackie oh. Love getting down by Shun, but Shun oh. knocked back at Jackie Love. These guys, their quick decision making. You'll blink and you'll miss it. Top Esports trying to make the steal, trying to get Tien in there. He's done it once before. Can he do it again? He's not going to take it. And it's going to be BLG that secure their... Still not being available. So that could have been a small window where the turn was there. Oh. But now they're going to engage Flash, him. But not again! He has flashed this time. It is enough to get him out, but that's a five-minute cooldown. God, Ocean. Oh, oh, the void rush from the depths. It's top esports being taken out from the inside out. BLG. They strike on Jackie Love. Here comes 369's Orn Horn. He's not going to get on in the end because of the hook shot. 
and on has been insane with these mechanics so far and blg ain't stopping anytime soon round one in this boxing match and tough esports have the bloodiest lift there's a beautiful four-man kickback from tn but it's saving grace and nothing but little scrap for top esports as they are run down in their own jungle they took the going into river i mean look look at all these angles they're now challenging with look on and wrapping on. around they have no idea, and Jackie Love is on this side of the fight. Now they realize something's going up. Flash play from Finn, and that's the Shockwave delivery combo, baby! We got that Orn Horn that's trying to deal a little bit appealing. They have the death sentence too, but Cream is next to go down. A double kill, they should. Now Tian's trying to get one back. He misses the Sonic Wave for another time, and he'll just bite the dirt too. To lose at this point, they're winning every single team fight. Have Soul now going to have an Elder on top of it. And again, it's, it's been beautiful, patient, find the right angles and then just so once again Tien not being able to land a lot of these sonic waves. I mean at this point with where we're at with the all, just in case but now like we said right Baron and Elder BLG this should just be a free ride for them they still have to be a little bit cautious right because they go for a dive maybe 369 it, and Mako can buy enough time to where it does get a bit dicey but even then I I don't know and you can see BLG not scared whatsoever they're just gonna move up and crash the base this is where they are strongest. They don't want to give any more time for scaling for top esports. TS actually going to be left alone a little bit. But they will transition towards mid lane, try to take even more. Uh, now, actually, they just have another minute and a half on this, so they can take another inhib there. Top side is not necessarily the easiest to break open. They could just force it. Yeah, and we, we can see, right, second inhib down, they're just going to keep moving Especially forward. These Nexus turrets feel like they might realize they're overextending a little bit. BLG, they'll move back towards top inhibitor turret. Should try. They have about 15 seconds left on that uh, Baron buff here, but they'll be able to do it. So one at a time, the structures fall, and one at a time, top esports are put back against the wall. One more engage here for Mako. Maybe a difference. Oh my god. Oh my night. god. He does so much damage, man. This is game number one, holistically going to BLG, and we're just watching them put top esports in a body bag here. Maybe not, though, actually. On comes in now, has a little bit of damage reprieve. They're going to try to re engage onto Jackie Love. Triple knock up there as well from 369. They're still trying to fight it, though, and Elk is still kicking. Ben is still kicking, and 369 he is defending the base one. On top esports. As 369 still very tanky. A lot of tanky it is. Oh, Tien. Oh. oh, Tien. Oh, Tien. Oh, no. And they go out of the back line here now, too. Jackie Love is the focus, but they can't get him down. Elk just takes down Tien with the help of Knight. Ben is almost dead. 369 going to pop that call of the Forge God. They try to get Jackie Love on the back, but he has so much damage potential and so much peel potential. The last Nexus Tower does end up falling. They're going to go for Jackie Love one more time. They get the double knockdown from 369, but it's not enough. BLG, all members strong, will take down Top Esports in game number one off the back of a Camille bot side pick. And what a way to kick off this best of. On an absolute like the soul. So it seems like, okay, BLG end up locking in the, the Vagar, right. but still, it, the, the name of the game would have been the same, right? Playing out through the range, really trying. Yeah, just, can't remember if he left a following year, if he left in summer of 2020, but that kind of makes it even run back. Oh, the his... flash. Look at on making the plays. And we got to talk about this guy. Game number one. Uh, the grubs the right grubs. now. Ooh, and now three fighting oh. connects. That's, oh, he walked into the trap there. That cleanse does end up saving a decent amount, though. But uh, Jackie Love's going to be worse for wear, and that's a decent summoner spell cooldown as those three grubs finally go over to top esports, even though they were on the other side. It's going to be continued success here for them, where Shun has found uh, a decent CS differential over Tien, and he'll keep harder for him to be able to close the distance when we said for TS, at least once we get that's post That's what they got to do! <laughs> yeah, that'll, that'll be with a look as Knight finds a nice cage. Shouldn't really be able to get too much more than just a bit of damage here. Oh my goodness. He has oh, the wow. primordial burst. Yeah, he knows. He has flash too. He's going to walk up. Does he have the damage? The calculation! It and does! it's the goal! Bill just composition plays a lot better when it's already on the objective first, and it could really try to zone you away. But still, they, they have the poke to be able to play with to try to brute force their way in, but it's looking rough. They need to make sure they can't get collapsed on by the score. Oh, the started off calling straight to the dome, and he's going to get dragged back. 369 comes up with a big one, and that will be all six of the telegrams. Oh, the first item spike coming up. We already get the static ship. Oh, cream. 
Uh, you don't have flash this time, but you do have Emperor's Divide. <laughs> this shit just got a flash for him. He wants to get a little bit more damage here. You have Tien coming down the way as they won't. Actually, they're just going to commit for it. Okay. They really want Kareem. They want some more stacks. Soon gets it. Uh, those just not being available. BLG doing such a good job of consistently punishing him and making sure he's able to get that one through it as well really nice just kind of last minute sequence from ts plg now wow they really want to come contest the crescent guard does so much as oh no tn he has primordial burst he can do so much damage just a couple more trades there knight wants it he has flash doesn't want to go for it really seeing blg not able to get into positions where the caitlin and lux thrive so far this split they're gonna get so many mites too they have cream coming down tp from knight joining the bubble with the crescent guard pop that cleanse from jacula is pretty big the ace and hole used the nature of grasp not gonna catch anybody but soon but here comes the play cream making the big dash and they actually find them but he's under turret still he's taking so much damage and it's actually a Giant big kill back from blg they get a big baby cage oh my god you might be crying after that one. Oh, he gets one back but it's still blg who scrap out a four for two my eyes were on cream but then suddenly i look over and ben is just on top of jackie love i cannot wait to get a replay to see exactly how all that went down because my god blg Three, six nine stepping up look at that health bar that's gonna be big jackie love getting some damage on the bin they will pull back after the dragon nature's grass coming out soon gonna try to tank this one up crescent guard there tn gets the dragon now as well blg trying to move out but here comes the tidal wave to signal the advance big catch out back cream going for the play but it doesn't matter because he's already dead Shun bites the dust and now here comes a nice engage from top esports the void rush not going to be enough to take down 369 and aim on the side of the map but you're right great to see ts still having some fight in them and out even maintaining a gold lead back fights and <laughs> we can see there it's only getting harder jackie playing from fog of War, almost up to his third item and you're losing your entire top side well, especially like that play, only Opa Gypsy doing this even more so, right? It's like, oh, hey, they have, they have three members there. Here we go. 369 coming in. TS have been one of the most decisive Baron teams in our league. Let's see if Tian can make the difference here. Shun looking for the play over. Shun oh. gets it. Look at the steal. Crescent Guard coming out too. He's going to buy a lot of time. Goes right back in though, sacrificing his life. Ace in the hole comes in as a celebratory thank you to in Shun. In terms of hitting front line. Ooh. I think this. Might actually have enough time to do this. Look okay, at Jackie Love. They're moving Jackie mid. The time. Yeah, they're just completely barreling down mid. Okay, BLG are just saying, let's just go for it. They're going to finally TP in night, but it's a little late. And okay, gets there at the last second. Oh, Vent Horizon, pretty big to block off the rest of top esports. Now BLG are on the front, but oh, beautiful flash from TN, and they're going to take down Knight. They strike at the MVP, and now top esports take it in here. Hextech sold for TS. I know a lot of people were predicting this to, to, to go the distance, but it's nice to see the back and forth coming through with TS. In though, like, like you're mmming at. Trying to be sneaky. Mm -hmm. It's a trap, though. It's a double trap. Maybe they get cream. Do they, though? No, it's Jackie Love that bounces first. Both the bot laners are down. Big shove into the barrel that is BLG. And they are being completely taken out one by little one. Soon finally joins the rest of his team. And Knight, you're very close to that one, too. Cream coming over the top here. He's getting a decent damage back onto him. But that siege is going to be too big for the little Yordle. Yeah, TES really coming out with this fight and keeping this series competitive. Exactly what we would expect. It is a boxing match. It is one that we expect to go all five rounds at least here in this best of five. And it is top esports who have awoken and given BLG a little of their own medicine. And they take a one to one. Again, we've already seen the Udyr being shown the Gnar, something we've yeah. seen a lot less of the Quinn. Wow. Let's I go. I did not think 369 would lock it in again. 369 always been a carry player despite the role he was given. On. Jack and Mako fell behind in the first few levels of the last lane. But then we're able to make their way they back the dive. in. They want the dive. Oh, On is going to try to go for the bailout. Is it timed well? It is, but he's still taking another turret shot. It is a one for one. The biggest problem, though, is that Mako got the kill. He's about to get a second one onto Elk here. He does have Flash still available. One more auto attack, and he gets it. That's a double kill for Mako. Camps down here, but there's a dive possible. Maybe BLG trying to make good on the bailout play from last time that went awry. They just want to funnel gold into Elk. On's going to tank it here. They already get one and they make it out easily that time he's gonna get them all three of them this time 
Um, big difference <laughs> than what we've seen in the previous games of this series, but it will be top esports getting their first dragon under their belt as well. Uh, and, and I guess the biggest conversation now becomes how do top esports use some of the side lane pressure that the Quinn will have, and you have to use a lie to uh, potentially. It's dicey if they do. Yen gonna get engaged on by Shun. Both of them have their ulties. Double. No, it's not gonna be the double bubble. The Fates Call come back out. Cyclone in. That's that armor shred, and that's huge. Elk gets the kill here, and they're gonna get that hostile takeover onto both of them. The prediction from on, but it's not enough. They don't want to go on a turret. Package there for Cream. I think they realize what could happen here. Also, multiple ults not being up makes it kind of awkward if something starts yeah. right now. I don't know, BLG moving in. Oh, they Jackie. don't have ult. He's not getting the big cage, or at least nice elk damage there. He's going to maybe find Mako as well in the back end, but nice package over the wall. Kareem getting some damage back on the BLG's carries. Some rockets going in. It is two grubs secured by top esports, so they'll deny the fifth grub stack. I don't think it matters at this point because you're about to be uh, about to be a dead croc. They're gonna try for the engage here. Dragon Rage kick plus the bubble plus the tidal wave. All that oh. CC chain, but Ben gets some outplay here. Got really pressure up there, but we can see BLG. Like you said, get bot lane through it. They're already getting uh, there for Drake, but now they're gonna be able to start. Focus on looking for a lot more aggressive Dude. on the side of the map. Don't look at that gold grab. Your decision making for top esports. We see the decision right now is try to collapse over on the bin, but use another turret. Now we be able to start opening up this lane. He doesn't have the damage yet, though. Jackie Love doesn't have the item differential as he did last game. Doggy Treats ready to go. See who's going to give them to today. Knight on the other side waiting for the Emperor's Divide. I think Top Esports realize they can't get to it. Tian not going to go in. They take a lot of damage on On, but he is just fine. They get the dragon. Second dragon in a row for them. Now Shun going over for Mako. He's on the other side on Cream. My god, what is this master plan that BLG have put together? They're going to get Tian on the other side too, but Ben realizes he just needed to try to find Cream. They want the slice and dice, but it doesn't matter because Shun will carry the weight all his own. The man is on fire on the Wukong, and they're going to give that one to Ben. BLG already cracking down a tier two on bot side and the snowball from hell has arrived they're right on top esports doors before they all split long uh you know managing in the top but, uh oh. yo yo oh, knight trying to go for it mako backsteps it though he is dead anyways elk rips his life from him knight goes down in the end two fates call forward though jackie love gonna cleanse out of the handshake that was very nicely timed and here comes three six nine Wants to get a big play over the top rope here, but it is also been joining from the bottom side. They're going to use the vision to realize they don't really have a big fight here. Though 369, you move forward. He doesn't have the health bar to stay in this fight. And Elk just takes him down. Ben is a big old croc, and those teeth are sharp as knives. Doesn't hit the Sonic Wave, but they will get the turret here in mid lane. So there'll be another turret to top esports. Someday. It's still good timing for TS to push towards the Baron because they know that BLG want to take it. But are they fast enough to grab this vision down here just in case? Because as I was saying, they take it so quickly. Knight is going to take the brunt of 369 here. That's the third item spike. And Knight doesn't really have anything to hold on to. Rage bar here getting full. He does have the Dominus. Half health, shouldn't got this last time. Top Esports, the miracle flip, but the hostile takeover. They are on the back line. They don't care about the bear. They care about the health bars. As now Tiani actually gets a re-engage. The bubble is huge, but BLG are picking him apart. Now 369 left out. He's not tanky and he just goes down. Elk does 4,000 damage in that limited engage. And he's gonna try to chase down Mako too. Cream is here to try to back them off with the rocket barrages, but it's not gonna be enough. You can't stop BLG when they are snow balling and yeah they do and again just shun finding the opportunity to get on top of the enemy team sure they're into scaling with things like the corky yeah it becomes a lot harder to, to, to find those ways back into the game and bfg now god man just gonna brute force this mid lane turret I mean, you're almost on full build for elk and uh he's very very close to that one some of that standing goal being taken out by top esports it is side. so difficult to face up against and BLG have been quick in their decision making around the map. Speaking of, they're going to be quick to pounce onto Kareem. He doesn't even know that On is around the corner. And that's an easy pickup kill. And it... At any given moment. Mm -hmm. It's the craziest thing. And that's why like, you can never back down from these teams. Because there is a reason why they're some of the most ruthless in our league. BLG 
Nine starts joining in as well. If he flies his way over here, if he's going to keep split pushing, because BLG are going to get this. Do it, do it, do it. Tien's in the pit. Tien's no, no, it's stolen by Elk. He's the one that secures it. Now on the other side, Cream hasn't even gotten to use the package, man. He is out of the fight and he takes his doggy treats with him. It is a side lane pressure for 369. He will get that in hip turret, but BLG come out with everything after that. Now Tien getting caught out now by On, who has had some insane <laughs> flanking <laughs> angles and Elk spears him in the back. Oh no, soon under 369 has about all of his health bar taken away, oh, but he baited. Oh no, the long con. It is Knight, the golden left hand coming in clutch. He hasn't gotten a kill yet, but he wants one now. He's trying to take down Mako, but soon gets him instead. And there's Knight's first kill of the game. And it's BLG who have run away with this one. Over 6,000 gold down, 369. Just buying some time with the wings of Valor. But he will be able to fight them back here. He is on four and a half items. They do have the CC chain to lock him down. Knight is over on the edge. Soon has to back off too. And and this is a wild fight. 369 doesn't want to go down, but BLG ties him down nonetheless. The chase took so long, we could see Cream is already back up. He was the first person down when he just absolutely sent it over that Baron with the package. Now, two members up, BLG already turning towards the Elders, we can see on our screens. I wonder if they're even just going to keep Elk and Bin here. They could, no, not going to get overzealous, but my god, man. Elk and On nuts. are going insane after not having the opportunity to take over last game. They really are this time. I think I just saw that Elk has crossed the 2,000 kills mark for the LPL. Huge stuff for them, but also just an incredible performance off of that game one performance from Elk as well. I think he has consistently been a pillar. And your team is five pillars, right? Like, <laughs> I feel like That's I, how you I build really a feel, building. I really feel like you can say that about either of these teams. Every player kind of being a pillar in their own right, being part of that formula, again, just being so strong in their own role. But BLG now continuing to push forward, having the Baron. We're going to see what they're able to do. Uh, the wave top isn't really that close. They have two waves of supers that they could play with, but Tez can be annoying with the Corky. BLG, they just need to find a way to wrap a bow on this one. It's a nice little present waiting for them as they will take a step forward in this best of five against top esports. The siege comes down. That first Nexus Tower already gone. Bin on the side here. That Elder Dragon ringing true. And here comes the flap of the wings. One more tower falls. And BLG, they just want fight. They just want blood. And they want the scream of top esports oh. as a big lockdown comes down. But it does not matter one single bit. A 13 and one elk and a dominant BLG go 2 1 in this series. Series and are unmatched for no Shun. He does wow. it. Let's go. It's a classic for Shun answering 369. It's his kindred. I'm a bit surprised because you not only already like you you have Buster shot, you have explosive cast. DP of Spring Split made good on all those years on OMG where he felt like he was grabbing the team in a backpack and pulling them across the finish line. Now this 2v2 kicks off and we have to focus because that could be a first blood for Jackie Love. One more auto. There it is. First blood to cash out for Jackie Love. Maybe they get a second. Yeah, it's cool. not not having the opportunity, not feeling the confidence. They, they group up mid first to make sure that this gets going. But still, I think TS should be happy with what they've taken so far. Actually, gets all of them. Shun can get into that enemy topside jungle and keep the mark train going. They were well, there why earlier. The train? I don't know. But oh, yeah, true. Right Onto this move from Shun. And they were gonna go for a dive. That mark disappearing. Ooh. So we can see there was a <laughs> there was the threat of a dive on bot. They're gonna get this, but three six nine. There's a guarantee of a dive here in topside. Oh, 369 gonna get flashed on. He has the mark on him too, so this is big. And like oh. more ways or more champions that just, just give you that prio, easy ways of starting fights. That they leaned into that simplicity that uh, feels like it will be key. They've already gotten five of the grubs and now gonna be able to finish off the six. So with that Essence Reaver power spike, with how strong Jackie Love is, they're gonna be able to just start mowing these with TP TPing. flank. They really wanna stop this play because BLG could make a big change in the gap nature's grasp going to come across now as well as the whirling death the explosive charge not going to be enough to do anything cream can't get the reset there so some big tools used and top esports going to try to take another turret remember they have the bite so they can just start hitting this and it's going to become unbearable they can also just take the fight there's the lamb's respite buying so much time the turret's still alive too but here goes the health bars of blg one by one they fall jackie love he's cashing in all day <laughs> Oh, uh, Jackie Love is I having a like, great time. 
I feel like VLG have no one but themselves to blame. You remember earlier when you said you wanted to see one of these bot lanes lean into scaling? You don't do that. You don't disrespect oh, the other no. bot lane. It comes back to fight me. In this matchup. You don't. You like, like look at these four names. You Just fight it. at level one and see what happens. Ooh, engage on on though. They have so much damage. They didn't stop the crash down. The cask over the top at 369. I do love getting the final cask in there, making sure he gets himself on the board too. As uh, BLG now oh. is trying to run them down. They just kind of can't get the engage there. Bin was a little bit behind the play on the side. Here comes the nature's grafts in from Tian. Ooh, they got the sun disc. Oh, Jackie Love just did half his health in one auto attack. Oh, nice play. 369 getting caught now. Okay, Elk gets excited. Knight gets a kill. They get a little bit of gold back. Tristan is giving it to you. We've seen it All be right. so true. Ooh, ooh. Jackie Love, he has flash, but he mistimed it. And now Jackie Love gonna go down and shut down to Elk. <laughs> Completely fine. fine. I guess Cream could move down, but that would be kind of risky and potentially open yourself up to get collapsed on from both sides. LT. They have a lot of damage. You have to remember, they still are a double marksman comp here. Nature's Grass gonna catch on to two. Knock back with Tien leading the charge. Here comes Cream. He's gonna rocket jump to victory here. Soon gonna use the lamb to respect. He does have a push out there. Oh, <laughs> the bomb just- That's you were hoping for. And now from Tez, I love it. You've got top turret, pivot to mid with this Herald. They're gonna force this one down and it's gonna lead into a great timing for Drake. Yeah, I mean, they're 9,000 oh. gold up, almost a little bit more now. Bin on the side. They have double flanks going. Who's going to have the more effective one? Cream catches out Bin on the side now. They're in the pit. Could be a 50-50, but On is getting knocked away. They're soon oh. in the back. Big shuffle from Knight. They get one down, and now guess who's excited? It's Elk. They are on him, though. He's still alive. He's still kicking. Knight's taking down Cream. How is he still going? BLG, they fight back from the brink. They take everybody. And that's a four for three. And ended up being so close with Cream only going down to the end, but somehow BLG pull it off. Maybe they aren't going to have to rethink the easier because Knight finds the shuffle. The get time. If we know top esports is that they want to try to 50 50 these parents, they aren't going to take that now. They're going to take the fight. Nice flash onto Bin. Bin's in trouble. That's a big corridor, triple, quadruple knockback. And now the respite is going to be huge. They actually get some damage onto. The backside here, Cream. I think like it will bit. be needed. But both teams now making it up towards this top side. It looks like Tez may be thinking about collapse. getting close to LDR for BLG. We just saw another item finished up for Knight with the Frozen Heart. So it would be a second MSI in a row. Top Esports positioning for the fight. The cast could come through at any moment from 369. They go for the engage on Mako. Mako trapped down, though. Cast comes through. Big Nature's Grass to catch out multiple members. Oh, oh my god, On might have just had the ma major play. Here comes Knight. He wants the engage. He doesn't find Cream, but guess what? BLG are fighting tooth and nail, and they have cut down this. The use of this objective. You can see Ben even wanting to follow 369 around. Maybe take another another member of Tez. Ooh, we got him. <laughs> he does you gotta be careful, damage. Ben. This is an AP 369 Gragas. Oh, yeah, Ben. Uh, they will just buy time for Knight to get over here. And 369 can't take a giant fight like that. He'll get his shield up, gets a little body slam out of the way. BLG with BLG. And Elk is going to be in a prime position, but on with the Kindred this. and the Jinx just be able to continue to siege down. You're eating those turrets. words, Lyric. The scaling hyper carry, it's coming to bear. <laughs> and Elk will just be able to use this to uh, take down a tier More two. range that you'll have to contend with. They have this Baron, they're just gonna keep sieging down. The saving grace of top esports is they have veterancy at their side. They have world championships at their side. They can stick in these tough, pressureful moments and still find the fight they need. Tien wants to get that engage on the side. Look at this angle. They actually have a good one here. 369 over the top here with the cast. They get him into the pit, but that's the respite coming through, and it saves so much time, so much damage. Oh, but here comes the oh. reset from Cream, and Cream is popping up now. He was the last puzzle piece that Top Esports needed this season, and they completely wipe BLG. And it was enough. Now looking at these death timers, I wonder how much they can get down to the base. Maybe at least get an inhibitor. But that should be it. Mako trying to go on the hunt, trying to stop Bin from, from going back. But he does manage to do so in the end. I think he saves it because of that. He's very tanky. Bottoms up in careful. six seconds. 
One push. They have the they six rubs. They have the Tristana. Oh, they do. You're right. They are on the verge of pushing us to Silver Scrape, but oh, here comes the engage. They, they have so much damage with Cream, though. He does so much. If he can dodge out of the three. engage, look at him go. He's got one, but they will back off after that. The Nexus Tower still alive. No! It's not enough. Cream and Top Esports make it out alive. They do lasting damage to BLG. Uh, I, it feels like the wrong choice, though. You had to, you had to be able to turn it and, and take that dragon. That would have been Soul. Would have been sold for TS. It still, funnily enough, might be, huh? Yeah, BLG, looks like it is. I really feel like they're fortunate for getting that soul, but hey, yeah. we take that. And they're going for it, and this time around, they do have ults to turn. When they tried this earlier, they didn't have the Nautilus ult, they didn't have the Maokai ult. Oh, it's already and, gone. Baby. Oh, it's gone? It is already gone. That might just signal the end. That might just see those silver scrapes coming loud and clear. But Knight goes in on the back line here. They actually get the reset now as well. Elk is pumping damage. He gets the GA for Jackie Love. This oh. is an ADC tussle. It's going to come down to Elk being that crazy man, but he can't do it. Knight on the other side can't make it out either. And they don't have anything left. Elk going for more. Elk going dead. And top esports, they fight the fight once again. And they come out on top once again. And we see the GA making the difference for Jackie Love coming back to life, and they're able to absolutely run the fight. Now you got some decently long death timers on the three real sources of damage for BLG. So, Tez, we're going to see what they can do. I see the base crumbling the moment that Top Esports seized. They have regained their moment. They have regained their glory. They have heard those silver scrapes calling their name. And they see BLG as prey in front of the tippy top. We're going all five, baby. It's the upper bracket semifinals for I'm having so much to say when they meet up with Shun and Tian. There is Mako's Thresh. Yeah, this is, I mean, this one going all the way back, right? Yep. Mako actually not really been one of the staples. In the wall with the CC there, not having the damage to be able to contend. Oh, oh, they're they're committing. Ooh, okay, okay, on grand entrance oh. out, but the hail of arrows first. That roster, and with a new environment, I really feel like we've seen Mako flourish to split, but speaking of, he seems angling for a 3v3. They actually come in and uh, Dragon ends up going to Tien. If the cleanse is down, same with Knight on the Weaver's Wall. Ben. Oh, they actually fight Ben. He gets out of there with the all out and right to his help is Shun369 realizing he bit off a little bit more than he could chew. The Destiny is going to be popped to maybe follow this one up over the wall. It is. He does have the yellow card coming up. He's going to go on Tien. Here comes the Weaver's Wall from Knight over the wall at the seismic shop. No, 369 will just get a rock to the learning. It's going to be not all six grubs that's what i'm learning for blg they will be denied that one so it looks like we're gonna get the full on split there there is a dragon in 45 seconds but top esports are gonna be in prime position to contest that one and now i mean you have first item coming out for bin static ship picked up destiny gonna be up soon so i'm curious if that'll be okay enough. okay they're not gonna pull the trigger on that one dragon is already started up by top esports but they could move in hook comes in on the shun that's a chains of corruption as well they get the full lockdown he oh. makes it out alive what they actually have the back line oh they get the flash play from cream top esports they have found elk out and caught wanting on his by himself at 369 doesn't want to let him get out he wants to clip those Pressure on this top side as ben will take their turret so this will be first turret of the game to BLG and it's actually yep. really for BLG right now but they'll take anything that they can get and that's what I want to talk about uh, a little bit more so is BLG have consistently just been looking for picks and speaking of they just completely catch again oh he still dies love it they have a lot of strength in their front line as this game goes on oh so now Okay, for the hold. Play mid. I, I like it. Again, trying to find a trade. They really shouldn't be able to answer you. Might someone I'd be a bit Soon, more... On a flank. Might have the difference maker. They're waiting for the turret to go down, but he pulls his card out early. Open up this last turret. Is 369TN. Actually, a lot of trouble scrap. here. Like you do have a decent amount of damage. Some tankiness from 369, but the rest of top esports coming over. TP from Knight. Dracula. Get an outer tower here, so a little bit of stand. Well, now, Bin. Oh, committing the death. One, one action. We got the ghost out of him, too. Here comes the Weaver's Wall from Knight. The golden left hand, BLG, wants a little piece of the action here. He is getting his own. 
action back to him odds now here enter another challenger as blg approach with three under the sun disc that sun's getting no oh so bright and it's blg who they're pulling a play out of top esports is book poke from jackie love is big blg are just gonna flip this one tn on the backside. he's a world champion he has that namesake he's done it in this and he doesn't get it Not mid lane this is soul so you have to contest this but look it on he has no health bar you've got to find backline access but they can't do it shouldn't go it around the side here isn't gonna find cream dragon is now the focus for top esports lyric now they're trying to get it cream's just trying to deny entry in from tri brush <laughs> but it's so oh my tense. god it takes so much damage they oh, pushed them out oh my god look at the wall it's gonna be stolen by blg and knight the mvp of spring just makes an mvp play Make sure that they deny the soul now, able to pivot over towards mid with the Baron. I mean, some nice, nice pushes off. Hell, you even look at top wave. That one's going. You're looking on the side lane, four, three, six, nine. They'll set up some preemptive vision there. So to help them out, that turn is going to start doing some work as that armor is doing nothing right now. Three, six, nine, getting low, yellow card, and there you go. The Got the Weaver's through. wall. Will top esports break on the back of it? Looks like a nice siege. Oh, may go. He wants to follow it up. Look at that CC. Cream, he's getting low. He goes in. Nice re-engage there by BLG. Beautiful double knock up there by On. And they are starting to put in the work. Look at the re-engage though by 369. They're under turret now. And BLG have been taking a task. Bid gets a couple back, but it doesn't. Really looking to swing the game back in their favor. Now BLG are only going to be able to keep the demolition going and getting more gold in their pocket. It is just scale potential potential wait for the big fight and have this thing to play with to see exactly flip where it. tsr to make sure that a flip doesn't flip come through it. okay okay they learned they learned their lesson okay tn just in there oh tn he's in the wall he's there it's oh, gonna cream. be secured by cream the one from the top it's gonna be top esports trying to get them down now blg they are scattered but they are not done because bin has full health and he wants to go for it with the destiny he is going to find a deep angle here they actually go in soon is there as well the double knockback and there is knight huge once again and the mvp of spring comes alive still for top esports you get a baron and you only lost one more member then blg i think they're coming out of that a lot better than they otherwise should have blg will be able to get another turn off of this but they really can't think about overstaying you have to respect the poke that jackie Ooh. jackie love to put off where we're seeing the damage now it's four items oh oh knight knight just takes jackie love out of the game plan ben takes the kill and top esports they've been left wanting and now having some death timers to play with might be able to get an inhib off of this they are still chasing around tn so we can see knight taking inhib in, in mid minions in bot you know all right we, we... yes they're gonna start up the dragon okay so they have a little bit of split focus blg are not gonna force the fight here knight coming over okay on has a flank knight on the other side seismic shove they don't get the dragon it's actually secured by jackie love they get the soul in the end destiny pop very split lane Wait, but look who's ending the game is it gonna be enough blg are losing their bodies here but they have been on the flank they have been on the nexus top beastports you gotta get back you gotta save the base yeah he's oh, going no for it. no oh. way he stops the DP! That's game over! BLG! A monstrous beast has been unleashed on Chengdu! BLG will find final!